Well, hello guys. It's Shamika Sanders here, of course. And I'm Ray Holiday. And we have, okay, this may be one of the most special guests right. we've ever had sure, on sure. Tea Talk. This woman right here needs no introduction, but we're still gonna give her one still because she one. is amazing. This is Jackie Christie. Jackie Christie's <laughs> in the building, y'all. Oh, yes. Thank you guys so much for having me. Good morning, darling. Good morning. How are you today? I am fantastic. Loving New York City, the weather, and y'all, of course. Oh, thank up. you so much. Jackie is the third person from Basketball Wives LA to come visit us. First is Tammy. Tammy's a regular here. Oh She's my God. Tammy's oh, my baby. Uh -huh. Yes, Tammy. And oh, that's right. Sania. Sania. We had Sania. Sania came. Two yes. weeks ago. She was, okay. she was a doll. Yes. She was and a doll. Yes. And now we have the Jackie the Christie. Jackie I mean, Christie. after watching a recent interview you did, I'm going to just start calling you Queen Jackie Christie because <laughs> you proudly proclaim that you are the queen over, over on these LA parts. <laughs> For basketball wise, uh -huh. and we watch every week with you. You every are week. so entertaining. Thank you. I mean, that's an understatement because honestly, you keep the season. You and Tammy, y'all keep, keep the going. season alive. That's keep it going. Definitely keep does. But we want to get into the season, of course, because there's so much to talk about. We so have much. so many As questions. Part one of the reunion is tonight. Now, is it part? Is it two parts? You know what? I believe it's only one. I'm not oh. sure, but it is tonight. Oh, well, thank you, is. VH1, for not dragging this out. No, no, no. <laughs> See, this I could have went for two parts for. Okay. I could have definitely gone yeah, this, far. This, so yeah. the reunion comes on tonight. What can we expect? I, I saw some clips. Oh it's God. explosive. It looks pretty explosive. <laughs> you guys, I'm even shocked. It's like I was in another zone when we got to the reunion because mm -hmm. I had so much I wanted to say, so much I wanted to get off my chest. You know, when you come together in a reunion, everybody is going to get to put everything mm -hmm. out there. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So it was like a, I was in another zone. So watching the clips, it's like, oh, my God. I said that I was yelling. Like, there's one where I'm like, I need you need a moment, you need a moment. And the yeah. host was like, I need a moment. Was, I mean, I'm like, oh. Shout out to Mark Lamar Hill. Yeah. yeah. There was a moment in one of the clips where I think you said you would snatch someone's throat out. You have some great esophagus. Jackie one liners. The esophagus. You, esophagus. esophagus. You said esophagus. <laughs> um, where do you get <laughs> these one liners from? They are classic. You know what? I just was so mad. And sometimes when I'm angry, I just say whatever comes to mind. Mm -hmm. And it just, I was really really upset at that yeah. moment. What has been making you so upset this season? We watched the drama between you and Evelyn kind of build and grow. Tammy mm -hmm. seems to stick by your side. Tammy's mm -hmm. always repping for you. You know what? Tammy is this is the first time where you've had some real support because people are kind of fickle when it comes to you. That's but right. Tammy has really stuck by you, mm -hmm. and Malaysia has really stuck Emily, by you. Yes, 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 yes. Right. And they can be a little fickle with you sometimes. And yeah. You know, it's Good. funny. It's it, like I said, I couldn't believe it. This season really made it all worth it and made mm -hmm. it all come together mm -hmm. for me because mm -hmm. you know it's been years of like you said, everybody yeah. again. Me mm -hmm. right. and so for this year for them to come, even though it was at the end of the season, and mm -hmm. me and Tammy had words early on, yeah. But we were able to do the grown woman thing and work yeah. through it because that's what not only sisters do but friends, yeah. Do. Right. And her friendship was really important to me. Malaysia, you know, at the end came through as well because she wasn't there part of the first part yeah. of the season, mm -hmm. and then you know she just really surprised me too. So I was really that's excited. That's yeah. Yeah. So talk a little bit about uh, we were getting into you and Evelyn. This has been the main storyline of this season, of the and there season. were there were low blows that happened on both ends. You know, mm -hmm. what, when once kids and grandkids and things like that get, get involved, involved, it gets very touchy yeah. because you. Yeah. Mama Touch. Bear came out. Right. <laughs> we right. saw your Mama Bear come out. Right. Talk a little bit about the beef between you and Evelyn and how it grew so much this season. You know what? I think um, more than anything, when Evelyn was, when I heard she was coming on, a lot of people was like, you know, watch out. She's coming. Yeah. She don't really have nothing else going on. She's coming to attack you. And I'm like, attack me for what? I mm -hmm. mean, every time I've seen her in the past, we've been cool. Mm -hmm. So that'd be the wrong thing for her to want to do. And you know, she came on. I approached her at Shawnee's thing. It wasn't for no other reason other than let's just set the record straight right mm -hmm. now and start off on a good foot, which I thought we did. She right. said she wasn't coming for no ulterior motives. I said, yeah. great. I'm so happy. My whole intent, as we continued on getting to know each other and fuming together, was great. And she, it started turning. Yeah. As the season went on, her true motives started coming out. I still kept giving her the benefit of the doubt, trying to talk about it. Yeah. And I'm done talking about it with these women. Yeah. I don't owe anybody an explanation. And I felt yeah. like with that, you're messing with my family. You can say what you want about me, but mm -hmm. when you do that with my family, family, you're going to see a different side. Yeah. Well, I, you mentioned ulterior motives. What do you think those motives were? Because Evelyn was one of the original uh, basketball wives. So From what did you think? Basketball wives, Miami. I think Miami yep. was, yeah. Mm -hmm. So what do you think it was that she was trying to do? I just felt like when she donated, she doesn't know my daughter. And mm -hmm. when she, she claims, well, I saw this baby and the baby was hurt. There's a, I'm not saying nothing's wrong with that, mm -hmm. but there's a million 
other people out there needing money and this yeah. and that. She knows who I am. She knows I've been on this show strong for five years. Yeah. Regardless of what she might have thought, because she started trying to throw little games out there. Oh, well, if you didn't do it, and I didn't know if you had mm -hmm. the money. I mean, it was games like that. Well, you're coming back to my show, so obviously I do. I get a check like you do. Yeah. And you know what I mean? So yeah. it just felt like, to me, her whole thing was to get a, a thing going, you know, a story mm. going. Oh, well, Evelyn donated to Jackie's daughter. You know, you coming after the big kahuna to start trouble. So mm. it was it was disappointing because I gave her the benefit of the doubt yeah. and she proved me wrong. Mm. That kind of that makes a lot of sense. Yeah. Have you spoken to your daughter since then? Yes, okay. lots of times. We okay. talk a lot. And have you guys been able to reconcile that? You know what? We don't. That's the sad thing is that this image that's getting put out there that me and her have this battle and stuff going with each other is news to me. Got we it. usually talk mother and daughter. We have fun. We talk about her relationship. Whatever we you know talk about. And I knew about my grandson and all of that. I send them money constantly. I support Takari. And so you know I was pretty surprised. And they keep putting it out there like we don't communicate. Okay, we don't talk. That's not true. I think the unfortunate thing about reality TV in general is that sometimes it's, it, it becomes the, the legwork of the producers and the executive producers to piece these stories together and make it look like something that it's not. And so that's the awful part about it is because they highlight certain parts, but they've never really highlighted the fact that you guys do have a great relationship. Well, you know, that's a great question. Um, the show itself, I, I was, as I see it pan out and I watch the season with everybody else, I wasn't angry at them at all. I feel like they depicted everything that was given. Mm -hmm. But I feel like in the media and what, you know, my daughter and these people, she has some bad influences around her, a bunch of them, and they're all trying to do this for money. You Got know, it. and that's why I stated it's, you know, somewhat of extortion, you yeah. know. It's they, if I gave them money, I'm sure they would go away. But I'm not going to sit up here and do that. And right. it's not true. I'm just gonna, I tried to take the high road and not even talk about it. Right. And it's unfortunate that now, you know, with us having one of the best seasons of, mm -hmm. you know, my career with Basketball Wise right. LA, that I have to go and squash a lot of this garbage. Right. Yeah. You know, uh, I want to talk about a little bit. Evelyn, when she donated to your daughter, mm -hmm. I watched the the clip from the mm -hmm. episode and from the reunion episode, and she was just like, I, I, like you said, I saw someone, I was hurt, I'm a mother, I understand. Why? And she goes, why didn't you donate? You know, the sad thing is I don't have to donate to a GoFund when my daughter can pick the phone up and call me or mm -hmm. text me and say, Mom, can you put the money at Western Union? Or Mom, yeah. can you cash at me? Or Mom, can you put it in my account? I've been taking care of my daughter all her life. Uh -huh. So this woman to come along and start questioning my motherhood, that's a disappointment. Mm -hmm. That's disrespectful. But I'm not one to say, wait, wait, I'm a good mama. I, I just... Mm -hmm. I always have led by example. Mm -hmm. And then when I need to say something, I do. And that's why I said it's time that I go out here. I'm tired of the public being misled. I'm tired mm -hmm. of people profiting off of falsities yeah. and mm -hmm. using my daughter. That's my daughter, and I love her. Mm -hmm. You know, that's my world. I've never spanked her. I've never treated her bad. I've never told her, oh, well, you're this and that. And because mm -hmm. I'm not with your dad and I'm married to your sister and brother's dad, that you're different. You're all the same. Yeah. Right. And my husband embraced her as his own child. Mm -hmm. So it's hurtful to us as parents who's done everything we're supposed to do and then some. Yeah. We've been public figures for 20 plus years. Yes. Mm -hmm. If we were doing all of this stuff, CPS and everybody else would have mm -hmm. been in our life. Mm -hmm. yeah. So that's what I want these people out here to think. Think about it. You know, yeah. Use your head when you're reading this garbage and when you see, and I can't blame the media because they're just posting what somebody's sending them into their emails. Right. Pretty much, you know, yeah. They don't know, so right. they're just posting it. And then if I'm not rebutting it, then yeah. it starts looking true, but it's totally not. Yeah, social media. Shout out to Doug. <laughs> <laughs> we to love say. you and Doug. Thank you, um, guys. But social media definitely portrays this whole story because Takari... We yes. follow her all the time, and she constantly updates and updates, and she right. has this book coming out. So where do you think, you mentioned in an interview you recently did, you were really open book, and, you know, we always appreciate the, about, that about you because you're always, you know, I'm going to give it to you. Right. And you were talking about you feel like she's being extorted. You feel like there are people around her yes. that are influencing her. Yes. Like, what made you feel that way? Um, not only did she tell me herself, mm -hmm. I... You know, she's told me, Mom, it's not me doing it. It's these other people. And six years ago, seven years ago, when this all started, because this isn't new. Mm -hmm. It's new now because we're in going into season seven. Yeah. You know, I'm a lot more prominent on the show, and they feel like now's the time the to time. get Jackie and okay. get the money. So uh, it's been going on for years, mm -hmm. and she's always told me. And at one point, we even paid one of the ladies that's doing it now, this so-called fake manager of uh -huh. hers, $3,500 because she said she was doing all this PR for Kari's career for, you know, other stuff like her clothing line yeah. and this and that. And that if she didn't give her the money, she was going to sue her. So Kari called me crying. I said, Kari, look, I, you know, give you a lot of money, pay your rent, you you know, all of this mm, stuff. Okay. You got yourself in this mess. You're, this is, if mm -hmm. I pay this woman for you, 
you got to shut your Twitter down, for one, because yeah. we contacted Twitter, told them about all the lies and all this, so they were involved, the police were involved, everybody. Wow. And she said, okay, I won't ever do this again. I said, if you do, you're on your own, because I'm going to step out of it. Well, here we are again all these years later, and the same girl is back again. She uh, called her back and was like, let's. But we had lawyers then, and we have lawyers now, and we'll yeah. deal with it when the time comes. Whew, that is deep. Why, why haven't you put these receipts out? Because, you know, I just started because, and I didn't want to do that because yeah, I felt like, like this is my kid. You know, right. and I don't want it to look like, oh my God, she's putting out text messages and phone right. calls and this and that and the other with her daughter. Yeah. Right. I just want the world to see, I don't have to lie to you. Here we are talking yeah. and communicating and the dates, I mean, yeah, I don't have to lie. I have receipts on everything, mm. period. We want to see, we want you to drop those because we want you no. vindicated, <laughs> Jackie Christie. Right there. Uh, yeah, but I... This light skin, dark skin thing that yeah. like your your daughter says this a lot. It's like she feels like it's like a colorism thing. Mm -hmm. And your other daughter, Shawnee Chantel, Chantel mm -hmm. she came on the show and we watched her. And she said, "Mom, no, there is some truth to this." Yeah. So how do you you know respond to that? You know, it's funny because Chantel, you know, she said this before, so I can share this, and yeah. then I'm going to let her speak because the time mm -hmm. is coming for her to speak as well. Mm -hmm. But she said, I was young, I was, you know, following, I was easily influenced, running around with that same yeah. group and my mm. sister, and I did things and made up stories that I shouldn't have done. Wow. That's why Chantel distanced herself immediately, and she's even told Takari, stop, you know, doing that to mom, stop lying on her, just cut it out. So they are kind of estranged right now as well oh, wow. because oh, no. of the same thing. You know, she just doesn't want that garbage to continue, but she loves her sister, yeah. you know, and she knows. I mean, all you gotta do is look down my timeline and you see Kari's life. Kari has lived a beautiful life, a privileged life. Anything wow. any of them had, they all had. I married her father. I knew what complexion he was. Yeah. I oh, gave up my life almost yeah. to have Takari, you know, and I've shared this story even mm -hmm. on the show. So it, it's ludicrous for people to think that. And the only reason I'm saying this is I want mothers out there all over, mm -hmm. if they go through something like this or if they're going through anything with their children, to just keep loving them. And yeah. I'm going to definitely start some type of foundation for them to help them because you got to be strong to go through this, mm -hmm. you know, and be them. accused of something that you didn't do. Right. Wow, you keep know? loving them. That is okay. really strong. Definitely, really strong. no matter what. Towards the end of the season, you and Shawnee were a little mm -hmm. shaky. Um, based on uh, some interviews that she had done, mm -hmm. um, how are you guys today? You know what? We are in a very precarious situation. Mm -hmm. Watch the reunion definitely to see what <laughs> Shawnee has to say. But my whole thing has always been, I respect you, you're right. going to respect me. And that's all I'm looking for. I don't need any friends. If you're my friend, you're my friend. And I asked her, you know, and everybody saw it play out on the show, you know, you're picking sides. Mm -hmm. Are we friends or not? And when she said, I guess so, right. that kind of, you know, hurt my feelings quite a right. bit because I'm thinking this whole time we good. Mm -hmm. I still feel like we are. I just feel like she was put in the middle and, you know, it, it kind of caught her off guard and she, you know, she chose to do it whatever she did. But Well, I'm going to commend you for standing up to Shawnee because there's this thing where people feel like they can't really say anything to Shawnee because she's the producer of the show or whatever the case may be. It's in our opinion mm -hmm. that once you step down and you become a cast member, mm -hmm. that you get treated like a cast member. Mm -hmm. yeah. So if a cast member says something and I find out about it, I should be able to confront a cast member mm -hmm. because you've stepped down from that producer seat yeah. to join us. So mm -hmm. you can't join us and then talk about us and not have it go back and forth. And you're one of the only ones who's like, no, actually, Are you, you and Brandy, remember Brandy? Too. Like, yeah. you know what I mean? Randy, yeah. Well, you know, and I love what you're saying. And I, you know, I had my show, which was Christie's Committed, before Basketball mm -hmm. Wives, which was a basketball wife show, mm -hmm. Doug mm -hmm. and I. And if and I was an executive producer, producer and cast member. And if I brought somebody on my show, I wasn't gonna, you know, get into battles with them. I right. feel like with Shawnee. I've always told them, me and her get along, but if you cross me, I don't care who you are. Yeah. You could be the owner of yeah. whatever. Yeah. I'm going to definitely speak how I feel. And I, I feel like Shawnee's the executive producer of L of uh, Basketball Wise, right. but VH1 and Viacom is who hires me. Yes. So mm. that Shawnee's not my boss. She's right. not anybody's boss. She's right. her own boss. So right. I just want people to not, you know, kind of blame her because, you know, it's been put out there and she doesn't really dispute it. But right. I'm saying she doesn't hire and fire. Got and it. even if she did, I'm still going to speak my piece. Right. If you come at me wrong, right. you're going to get told. Yeah, yeah. Mm. I agree. Yes, that, that was good. I mean, you mentioned Doug, who we love. I I was wonder how does Doug feel about all Everything. of this? And I feel like he <laughs> loves it. I think, because I, I look back, I was just on your Instagram, and you were posting throwbacks to your wedding. Like, mm -hmm. 
Jackie has a wedding every year. Every year. But <laughs> <laughs> this is the one, back, throw back to the original wedding. Doug was so, he's still so into you, but he was so into you. And we know that look, because as women, we're just like, mm -hmm. he ends her. Yeah. And I just was like, yo, Doug loves it. He lives for it. How does he react to all of this? You know what? He is really, this season, he really got upset. He, he got upset. Like it. Yeah, he didn't watch it, but he could tell by kind of what was going on, because he can hear it and stuff. Mm -hmm. And you know, that's my voice of reason. That's mm -hmm. my husband. So mm -hmm. I tell him little stuff going on. And he just was like, enough is enough. Mm -hmm. Like, why are these women even questioning you when they all know, they've all known you a very long time, you know, when are they going to stop playing these games? Right. So he, he didn't like it at all. Mm -hmm. No, he wasn't, he wasn't cool yeah. with that. Um, and you said 22 is going to be a huge event. Huge. They, they've been huge. I think I the mean, last one, was, was the last say, one? I, I feel like they've been at the top of the world. Yeah, I'm just like, like, I don't know. What, and, what's and next? I laughed yes. so hard. You was like, and I think, um, who was it? Rock Rand. Shout out to Rock Rand. We were talking about her interview. And she was just like, why 22? And you were like, because 13 and 22 are one of Doug's favorite numbers. Mm -hmm. It just was such a Jackieism. I was just <laughs> like, what? That would make sense. <laughs> that made so much sense. Yes, that, um, oh my God. So what do you have planned for 20, the 22nd? You know what? It's huge. He won't let me say, but it's going to be major. It's so different. So yeah. out of the box for us, we've had, you know, 21 different kind of weddings. So yeah. this one is going to encompass everything. Mm -hmm. And it's going to be. I yeah. thought it was really interesting that you and Sunia wind up being so cool because mm -hmm. when Sunia came on the show, she was kind of that girl who mm -hmm. had messed with someone who was married. I mean, right. it, it's it's tricky. The way it, it came out, it was iffy. really, really tricky. Yeah, right. and then, but you kind of gravitated to her. And usually Jackie is like, uh-uh, I'm -uh, messing no side chick. <laughs> right. You can't That's even be around do. my man. type thing. So it was interesting that y'all connected <laughs> like that. Right. Right. You know what? When, they, when we met, I think everybody, you know, figured, oh, they're both big personalities. They're going to clash. And it was just her energy. Yeah. Mm -hmm. It was just the way, you know, we just kind of jailed. We was having drinks. We was up at, you know, we met at that one place that night at the in Los Angeles, yes. but then we went up to Palm Springs, and she just was like, hey, girl, she was fun, mm -hmm. party type, yeah. loose, you know, and yeah. I like loose looseness. I don't yeah. like that, you know, Uptight. tight, prudish yeah. behavior, and so we just hit it off, and from yeah. that point on, we just got along. Yeah, she did have great she energy when she came by. She was yeah. fun. She was a lot of fun. Yeah, she just yeah. felt a lot of rumors and talked about the show a lot. Uh -huh. um, I have my question. I, I got, Ray Ray's over here. He's like, he got, he, he got something to say. Okay. Um, I'm, I'm I wanted to know what you were thinking when Evelyn was trying to get towards you. There was that one epic scene. And and outside? Yes, outside. The fight, oh. it seemed like it was about to be a fight. Evelyn dashed and she was trying to come at you. What were you thinking in that moment? Um, I dashed first, but the way it was cut, it looked like she did. Oh. So I was just like, look, you know what I mean? Because <laughs> I came out to apologize yet again, like yes. Evelyn. And then when she made her comments, it just, something just like, the light bulb came on like this girl is really tripping she's dead set on trying to ruin my name and yeah. who I am and no so I was angry and I lost my temper mm -hmm. what would have happened if you guys would have clashed oh bad things bad <laughs> bad things bad bad things <laughs> luckily sure. security was there bad bad things after being on uh, for so many years and you're one of the only ones who's still standing from the original cast of Basketball Wives LA you see a lot of the girls come and go mm -hmm. um sure. We actually just featured Dreyer for our Cassius digital cover. Okay. Uh, we flew out there. She was super, super duper amazing. Are you yes. guys still? You know what? I digs Dreya. Mm. Last time I saw Dreya was about a year and a half ago, and we were at this OK event, OK Magazine event, and she we were sitting together. They actually put us at the same thing. Oh, wow. And we were like, hi. But you know, even <laughs> me and her have always been a really cool duo. Yeah. And I think our chemistry was great on TV. Mm -hmm. Miss her a little bit, for sure. But I feel like Dreya said, you know, you was the best to ever do this as far as I'm concerned and if you mm -hmm. ever do anything I'd love to do it with you so on and so forth so we parted that day yeah. there were some people there at the party that she wasn't really getting along with so yeah. I walked her to her car to yeah. make sure she got in safe and then that was it I haven't seen her since but you know as far as I'm concerned we we okay that's what's up that's, that's what's beautiful up. everyone you know rides so hard for you what where is the misconception like <laughs> I know like, I'm just like you you Thank know you. you're like I, I, I walked her to her car yeah. or I'm just thinking about other episodes when you were like I came over and I told her I think there was what episode was it was it somebody you walked over you was like I just want to let you know that this was said about you so you're not walking into a situation mm -hmm. like where is the disconnect why do people have these misconceptions about you you know what I love what you're saying I ask myself that I'll be sitting in my hotel room or somewhere and I just be thinking Lord, what is it? But I feel like it's a test, and I feel like I got to keep on being me. Mm -hmm. I ain't trying to hurt nobody. I'm just a very straight up, you know, upfront person, and sometimes to a fault. So I try to curb it, but I just feel like being honest, and I feel like how can I help or uplift somebody versus tearing them down? So I think when I feel like somebody's trying to tear me down and I go off, then it's, oh my God, she's crazy, or oh my God, she's attitude problem. So 
Mm-hmm. You know, it is what it is. I, I'm going to keep doing me. Do you ever feel like you can be messy sometimes? I'm not I'm not going to lie. As much as it's entertaining and we love you, mm-hmm. love <laughs> you can Definitely. be messy sometimes. It can be a little. You know, it's a little messy. I, I would say this. I would say with the reality show and the group of women and stories having to be told, yeah. sometimes it's like, who's going to bring up this issue? Okay. You yeah. know, and it's not like set it up and make a fake thing. No. If this person really was doing something, you know, and I'm sitting here having yeah. a conversation with Malaysia and say, for instance, mm-hmm. you know, Tammy did something then it's Malaysia what do you think about what Tammy did okay so then I'm sure the world Mm -hmm. is going to perceive that as being messy but mine is always with love and a message at the end and so is Tammy's and Mm, you know what I mean so no now you've taken on a few entrepreneurial entities since the beginning of the show one was your fashion line I actually was at your fashion show when you came to New York a couple of years ago Mm -hmm. um What's next for Jackie Christie? What are you working on? You know on? what? I uh, What I did is I spread myself so thin after that with the show and just doing mm-hmm. so much and being the mentor on the show and just everything. Mm-hmm. You know, the matriarch. I'm going definitely going to be launching another fashion line. Okay. I've been doing that on and off for 15 years mm-hmm. anyway. And I, you know, I got my projects. So I'm working on some television shows and different things and movies. I've got plays coming up. You know, I'm on tour with Darren Henson right now, you know, with my books. Mm-hmm. Shout, Shout out to Darren. Mm-hmm. And that's, oh, mm-hmm. just an amazing person. Very very motivating, talks to the youth, talks to mm-hmm. women, just really a good soul. Yeah. So we doing a lot of things together. It's just it's so much in the works, it's not even funny. And then of course season seven of basketball wise, right. if in fact I return. I mean yeah. What? Without a shadow of <laughs> Wait a, a doubt. minute. If they don't want us to boycott. <laughs> right. Now I'm like, what do you mean if you return? Then when we go to work. Like, I mean, it was, right. <laughs> and we, we love you know all of the girls bring what they bring to the they show, do. but you right. definitely bring that aspect. Everyone I talk to, they love watching you. My Thank friend you. be like, I love Jackie. Yeah. And it's yeah. just it's this just this whole weekend it was bubbling. They're like, I'm like, guys, Jackie's coming in on Monday. <laughs> yes, um, everybody's like, they're Jackie. like, what are you gonna say? I'm like, we're we're gonna get it together. <laughs> we're we're gonna <laughs> talk <laughs> it through. Hopefully get some Jackieisms. Exactly. Yes, you mentioned your book. So it is so tell us a little bit about now, aren't you, you said a five women? time author because yeah. you literally were at that panel with all the all of them. Like, listen, five of them. <laughs> yeah, she had I need to be on your panel next time. Oh my time. god, when you walked into the panel with all black on, I was just like, oh my god. Listen, <laughs> don't have Jackie coming to your panel. She need to be on the panel. Can I pass me that? Pass me the book. Like Let me them. see these right here. Thank you. This oh, is look, three of them. I this is three of them. Yeah. Look at that. Proud to be a colored girl, woman, and. I want to read this. No ordinary this, love. This must be so good. Get your love right. Get your love right. Get your love right. Mm-hmm. Uh, so talk about the latest book and you know. The um, message. the latest book is Sexual Relations: A His and Hers Guide to Finding Greater Intimacy. I Ooh. feel like a lot of relationships is missing that, and intimacy is not just mm-hmm. sex. It's also communication. Yeah. It's also you know making a woman feel beautiful because mm-hmm. that's what really turns us on. Yeah. If you just ignoring us all day and then mm-hmm. all of a sudden you think we just gonna get together and Ooh. sleep, that's gonna play out real oh, quick. Here you we already go. know. And um, so I talk about that in this book, and it's 12 other celebrities talking about what they look for. You oh. know, it gets the fire burning, just everything. And it also, you know, copy? I've been married for 20 plus years. And that is why we have intimacy in our relationship, which is communication. I love that. We have to let you go, but as as you're talking about intimacy, I'm thinking about this one episode when you were talking about you and Doug mm-hmm. and how you said you you didn't like or you, you've you never mm-hmm. given him any blank blank. Yeah. <laughs> Oral sex. <laughs> Oral sex. <laughs> And I'm just like, you've been married for all these years, and you never, and he, then you said you put the hand sanitizer in your mouth. Oh, yeah, um, bleach. Yeah. Because <laughs> she I, wanted I to make really sure sick. that it was clean. Because you got really sick. <laughs> And I got how really do you sick. go with so the has, intimacy? Is that still the issue I'm just now? Like, how is do you Doug go that far? Yes. You, know you got to get this book and read it. Because no! there's so much more to intimacy <laughs> than oral sex. But now, because Malaysia and all the guys kept pressuring me and they taught me yeah. and all of that. But it's just, they there's so many other things that like takes Doug there that it doesn't. It's not a big thing. Well, she's a lucky woman because the rest of us out here, <laughs> we... <laughs> out here struggling. The rest of us out here, Look. we got to... I'm going to get the book and maybe get the book. I can... Simplify your life. Simplify my life. <laughs> Let Jackie you know. Chrissy simplify your life. Exactly. Right. Thank you so much for being here, Jackie. Thank you Thank so much. Hope you had a great much, time. Jackie. Thank you. Guys, we got to okay. let you go. I know you want so much more with Jackie Christie. Where can they find you? Oh, Instagram, at Jackie Christie. Twitter, at Jackie Christie. And The Real Jackie Christie on Facebook. Come on, The Real Jackie Christie. Okay, guys. This is Not The Real the Jackie fake. Christie. Go to The Real. Don't get it twisted. <laughs> Bye, guys.